Topic 12, Phases of Matter. Part 4, we're looking at pressure. Pressure, you have to study the definition of pressure, know the formula of pressure, and also work out the, the uh, derived unit, an SI unit of pressure. Pressure, what is pressure? You can think of it as, say, piercing force. Force alone will not let you puncture a balloon. You can push it quite hard with your hand without breaking it, without bursting it. However, the combination of a small surface area and a reasonable force will puncture the surface easily, like a pin. I hope you got the idea. And you can see the next slide for an example. This diagram illustrates a force being applied to a pin. At the pin head, the area is big, so the pressure is low. At the pin tip, the area is small and the pressure is high. A small surface means the pressure getting higher if the force stays constant. In terms of formula, as the area gets smaller, the pressure gets bigger. Some examples, think of a nail, think of a pin, and high heels on an wooden floor. Pressure exerted by gases, kinetic model. We studied kinetic model as well last year in IT physics. The pressure exerted by the gas is equivalent to the sum of the individual collisions made by the molecules with the walls of the container. So that's what creates pressure. You can watch this video as well. These gas molecules inside this container are colliding with the walls of the container and with each other. Consider an individual gas particle, this one here, its collision with the wall is equal to the rate of change of momentum of that particle. So this particle moves towards the wall, collides with it, and bounces back. So it undergoes a change of momentum during the process. And coming back here, the rate of change of momentum can be expressed as delta V, which is change of momentum over time. And momentum can be expressed as mass times velocity. And then you move the, the term m outside of the brackets because m is constant. This one can sort out because it doubles up with this one. And so m is still m. Change in velocity over time is acceleration of ma. And it's equal to force exerted by the gas particle on the wall total force of all the gas particles is equal to the summation of all MAs. So, gas pressure is equal to total force exerted over an area. In other words, F over A from the definition of formula. 